Welcome to News Today with Universal Parks News Today. I'm Tom Corliss. Here now the news for June 10, 2022. Michael Myers is returning to Halloween Horror Nights for a house based on Halloween. The house will be featured on both coasts. It's unclear if the house will be different than the previous iterations or if it will be a repeat, but the official description for the house reads, quote, gather your friends and visit Haddonfield, Illinois, where Michael Myers is about to don his mask and embark on his first brutal spree. Silent, merciless, relentless. He's the embodiment of pure evil. You don't want to go alone as you go back to where it all began. This year, stepping into the original 1978 horror classic, Halloween. A house based on the 1978 original film was featured at Halloween Horror Nights 24 at Universal Orlando Resort. Though the character has made many, many appearances through the event's history. Universal Studios Hollywood had a maze dedicated to the film in 2015, but has also used scenes and elements from it in other houses based on the franchise. Universal Orlando Resort has increased the price of their annual and seasonal passes by approximately $25 to $40 each. Here are the price increases for the out-of-state two-park passes. The two-park seasonal annual pass raised from $399.99 to $424.99. The two-park power annual pass from $449.99 to $474.99. The two-park preferred annual pass from $499.99 to $539.99. The two-park premiere annual pass from $714.99 to $754.99. Three-park passes, which include Volcano Bay, have gone up about the same amount. The three-park seasonal pass from $499.99 to $524.99. The three-park power annual pass from $559 to $584.99. The three-park preferred annual pass from $609.99 to $649.99. And the three-park premier annual pass from $904.99 to $944.99. Florida residents save $100 on the seasonal power and preferred passes and $115 on the two-park premier annual pass. The Universal Studios Classic Monsters Cafe in Universal Studios Florida closed permanently a few weeks ago and is now surrounded by construction walls. The bright blue walls completely surround the outside of the cafe and the Shrek and Donkey meet and greet location. On the walls are minions, so... I mean, we can only guess that the Minion Cafe, something that already rolled out in Hollywood is probably what's replacing this location here at Universal Orlando. Um, we'll just wait for confirmation, but it seems like they're heavily teasing it. Universal Orlando Resort has just debuted Dark Chocolate Frogs, a twist on the classic The Wizarding World of Harry Potter treat. We found them, in mil we found them with the milk chocolate frogs in the Universal Studios store at CityWalk. Right now you can get three chocolate frogs for $33, but individually they're $13. Universal Orlando has introduced a brand new collectible that puts the fun and functional. Guests can now purchase the Minions popcorn bucket at the Universal Studios store in City Walk. The bucket includes a free first fill of popcorn. The bucket is $38 and the design includes three adorable Minions up to their usual shenanigans. The car is littered with stamps and stickers that feature iconic moments from the series, but also Universal Studios icons. And though this collectible is technically designed to carry food, the bottom of the bucket includes working wheels, so it is also a really cool big toy. It's really well made. I got to hold one over the weekend, and it was, it's a really nice quality. Another Minion popcorn bucket, this one wearing star-shaped sunglasses, is available over at Universal Studios Hollywood. The Minion popcorn bucket is $25.99. The yellow Minion is holding up his hands in celebration and his star-shaped glasses have red frames and blue lenses. The sunglasses can be tilted up away from his eyes, which actually move back and forth when you shake the bucket. We found this at the Universal Studios store in the upper lot. Universal Beijing Resort will reopen on June 15th after closing in early May due to a spike in COVID cases. The Universal Studios Grand Hotel, the Nuo Hotel, and Universal City Walk Beijing will reopen on June 14th. Universal Studios Beijing will open again on the 15th with controlled guest flow and stronger COVID prevention measures. The resort will operate at 75% capacity. Indoor attractions entertainment will have limited capacity as well. All guests must provide a negative NAT test result taken within 72 hours, as well as keep their health kit and personal ID. Uh, they must also get a temperature check and a valid park reservation to enter. Pre-sale tickets and hotel bookings will be available starting on the 11th in limited amounts daily. The dates for Universal Beijing Resort Winter and Spring Leisure Pass and other non-dated tickets will be automatically extended for guests who purchased on May 1st or earlier. Steven Spielberg's classics Jaws and E.T. are returning to theaters this year. E.T., of course, is celebrating its 40th anniversary this year. It will be re-released in theaters on August 12, 2022. Jaws will swim into theaters starting on September 2nd. 
Both films will be in IMAX for the first time, and Jaws will also be in Real D 3D. Let us know in the comments if you're excited to go check them out. Uh, also, let us know if you've been to the new Tribute Store. If not, you can check out a video right here. Of course, that features Jaws, E.T., and Back to the Future. And that's where I picked up this shirt and all this cool stuff. It's now on our set. It's a great store. We spent, we spent like an hour and a half in there. It's wonderful. For more information on these stories and more, head on over to UniversalParksNewsToday.com. If you're enjoying the show, be sure to like this video, subscribe to Universal Parks News Today on YouTube for more great content, and click the bell for notifications. Also, make sure to hit select all notifications so you never miss an episode of the show. For UPNT, this is Tom Corliss saying the future is whatever you make it, so make it a good one. Welcome to Deep in the Plus. Each week, join host Rob Whiteside and a panel of Disney superfans as they take a different movie or TV show from the Disney Plus catalog, tell you its history, details, give their review, and let you know if it's worth your time. Current shows, classic movies, and everything in between. Watch Deep in the Plus live Tuesday nights at 9 Eastern for new episodes. Or catch Deep in the Plus anytime on YouTube at unplanneddowntime.com.